This lesson is on downloading images on the web and also a brief introduction to copyright. Okay, um, as I mentioned before, in the event that you cannot take a photograph, be it that it's of the moon or if it's of a single tree that you need and you can't seem to find a single tree or something, usually something more extraordinary that you need that you can't easily photograph yourself, that's when you would want to resort to downloading something online, okay? And just remember that a majority of the pictures you need to photograph, okay, for this project. So I provided you with a few links on the side of the page here. Um, one of them is Stock Exchange. I'm go ahead and click on that. And here you're going to need to create a membership, but once you sign in using your username and password, um, you can go in here and just look up, say, Apple, and then it will give you images of apples that are supposed to be free of copyright that you should be able to use. Now note that copyright free is different than royalty free. Okay, so you want to look for copyright free images, images that you are allowed to copy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. Now, it'll tell me the size and the resolution of the image here, and then it'll tell you that standard restrictions apply. And then it'll also tell you here that you have the ability to view the image license. I'm going to go ahead and just click on that. And then it tells you how you may use the image and then how you cannot use the image. Okay, so this one allows you to use it in digital and printed format. So that's good. And then this one just tells you like what not to use it, like no pornographic, no used to defame people things like that okay so it'll tell you how you can and can't use it okay you should always try to ask the photographer permission to use the image if you're going to try to sell it or you know distribute it but since you're not going to you should be able to use this just fine okay this would be your written permission here okay that you normally need to secure so i'm going to go ahead and click off of this site get out of here and I've also provided you with image after this is another site same thing you can go in here and perform a search let's say it's Apple and you're looking for an Apple now normally you'd be looking for something more extraordinary that you couldn't photograph yourself um, you can go in here and just click Apple then you'd be able to download the photo here or you could also look at the image um, for terms of use okay you can look at them there and I'm gonna go ahead and click out of this one and there's Stock Vault. And here to tell you to search free photos, so you can click here and let's say Apple. And you'd be given some of these apples. Now, you should notice that it's gonna offer you images up here and then images down here. You wanna make sure that you click on the ones that are free. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here. And just to make sure that you're in the right section, in the right area, you know, this is under free stock photos, food and drink, juicy red apple, it should be free. Now you could decide to support and donate to the user, like I guess it probably has like PayPal or something, but notice you don't want to just grab this image and download it. You can click the download button and that one will download the larger image, okay? And you can get some specifications on what that is like here, okay? So this probably would be big enough, okay? Depending on what size you need to use it as, all right? No, most of these are going to require you to sign up, okay, to create an account and then sign in. And they're going to be free to sign up and everything, okay? So there's no worries there, all right? So I provided you with those sites. Um, you can always look online. What I suggest to people is that look for copyright free images, not royalty free. Royalty free means that you pay a fee once and then uh, every time that you use it, you, you don't have to pay royalties for it, okay? So you want to look for copyright free images, meaning you have the free right to copy them, okay? And then what I always suggest, just as a side note, in case you mess up the image and then you need to acquire the image again, always write down the URL, you know, just maybe copy it and paste it on a new document or somewhere so you keep track of where you got it from and also the person who it comes from, okay? I always like to do that and then also even download the permissions, like the user license, just to be sure, be on the safe side. All right, now say that a friend took a photograph that you really, really like and you could really, really use. You can do that as long as you get written consent. That would be fine too, okay? So the idea is that you don't wanna use other people's images out of respect for the artist that took the time to create these. And then also the main reason that I don't like using other people's images or images that are not copyright free that you don't have permission to use is because if you end up having a really nice piece and you want to enter it into a gallery or into a contest, if you're using imagery that is not yours, you cannot enter it. More copyright basics. What I suggest is that you check out this video. Strong suggestion. It's a really cool video. It's animated. I'm going to go ahead and play you just a little part of it. If you have a few minutes, I can explain the basics of copyright to you. Okay. Article 1, Section 8 of the U.S. Constitution gives Congress the power to promote the progress of science and useful arts by securing for limited times to authors and inventors the exclusive right to their respective writings and discoveries. 
It means that in the United States, a copyright holder has some exclusive rights to his or her work. And those rights are protected by U.S. copyright law. Oh, I, I always thought no copyright symbol, no problem. Nope. Copyright is automatic. As soon as something is captured in a fixed format, such as being written down or recorded, it is protected by copyright. Okay, so you get the sense of how this animation plays out. And it provides you with a good overview of copyright and why it is that you don't want to infringe on somebody else's copyrights, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get out of that one. Go. I also provide you below this video with a link to the U.S. Copyright Office. And here you can get more copyright basics as is written in the law. So you can take out any of these documents if you want. But basically, what you need to know um, about copyright is that unless you have secured permission in writing to use something, Something, you shouldn't use it okay and especially if you're going to be submitting it in competitions and thinking about selling it you don't want to use anybody else's work all right so that concludes your lesson on downloading images uh, from the web and also on copyright if you have any questions i led at hawaii.edu or 808-343-9565